Yeah, the Pacific trial is a single center uh, comparative multimodality imaging study uh, where we compared CT imaging with SPECT imaging and PET perfusion imaging of the heart and all patients were subsequently referred to the CAT lab with uh, fractional flow reserve measurements of all coronary arteries. Um, and the purpose of the trial is to determine which of the imaging modalities has the highest accuracy for the detection of functional significant disease and whether the addition of CT to SPECT or PET to, uh, to, com to get a hybrid approach, whether hybrid imaging has a higher accuracy compared to standalone imaging. What we were hoping to understand and what our primary hypothesis was is to find out which imaging has the highest diagnostic accuracy and we hope that SPECT CT using an attenuation corrected uh, SPECT would have um, uh, an as high uh, would, would be similar to PET imaging in terms of accuracy and if that was not the case we hope that the addition of CT to SPECT would yield an accuracy which was similar to PET alone because PET is not uh, generally available and SPECT is so it's uh, already a well validated uh, widely available modality so that was the primary hypothesis of our study. Yes, there is, uh, especially when it comes to PET imaging. We use oxygen 15 labeled water as a perfusion tracer. Where in the United States, they usually use uh, rubidium PET. And there are a lot of differences between rubidium PET and oxygen 15 labeled water PET, especially when it comes to quantification of perfusion. So that's one of the major differences between Europe in this case and the United States. But with regard to SPECT imaging and CT imaging, it's the same. Yeah, because oxygen 15 labeled water is not FDA approved in the United States for some strange reasons, uh, but it's, it's approved in Europe obviously and in uh, the States they use rubidium. But an advantage of rubidium is that you don't need a cyclotron, it's, you have only, uh, it's, it's on site, available on site and you can inject it uh, uh, into the patient uh, immediately. Uh, and where you, with oxygen-15 labeled water you need a cyclotron to produce the oxygen-15 labeled water tracer. Uh, we included intermediate patients or patients with an intermediate pretest likelihood as defined by the Diamond and Forrester score and patients without a prior history of coronary artery disease. Um, the next, uh, the Pacific 2 is on its way right now. Uh, with the Pacific 2 we investigate uh, patients with a prior myocardial infarction or, or with a prior history if you, uh, if you like and uh, to determine what imaging has the highest accuracy. In that study we don't use CT imaging, uh, we use MRI, SPECT and PET perfusion imaging. Just looking at perfusion because in patients with already a myocardial infarction or with a prior history of coronary artery disease, uh, we already know those patients have coronary artery disease as determined by anatomical images as CT, so that's why we're not performing CT in those, in those uh, patients but only uh, stress imaging. Uh, what we found is that SPECT, uh, which is widely available and used in uh, almost every institution for uh, the evaluation of myocardial perfusion, that SPECT had a very low sensitivity of only 57%. That's something which has never been published before. Uh, because the majority of prior studies used invasive coronary angiography as a reference standard while we used fractional flow reserve measurements of all coronary vessels irrespective of the imaging findings. And we found that SPECT has a very low sensitivity of 57% only. So if you have to choose between CT and, and SPECT imaging, you would definitely choose for CT imaging in patients with an intermediate pretest uh, likelihood, which is uh, not recommended by the guidelines right now. CT is in fact not recommended in uh, patients with low risk or in patients with an intermediate risk according to the EC guidelines but with this study hopefully CT will, uh, uh, will get its place back with regard to uh, uh, the diagnosis of uh, disease in clinical practice.